Hello everyone, this is me Ratna Thapa here. I welcome you in my class. I hope you have understood which lesson I'm going to teach you and what I'm going to teach you. Contents also there, no? So I will teach you today the lesson name that is types of computer and among this, I'm going to teach you how do you classify the computer on the basis of brand and on the basis of purpose. Let's start our work now. Okay, on the basis of brand, we can classify the computer into two types. They are called as IBM computer and Apple computer. So we have two types of computer. We can classify the computer on the basis of brand they are IBM computer and Apple computer. Now here you have to know what kind of computer is called as IBM computer. As you know very well that these all IBM computers are manufactured by big company like a IBM company. So on the basis of this factor, you can give the definition of IBM computer like this. The computers which are manufactured or developed by IBM company is called as IBM computer. The personal computer is the most important type of microcomputer system. These um, IBM computers are reliable, durable, have better quality, but they are very expensive. So IBM computers are very expensive, but they are reliable, they are durable, and have better quality than IBM compatible computer or assembled computer. I hope you know the uh, assembled computer because we are using the assembled computer, no? The computers which are manufactured by the local dealers, that type of computer is called as what? Uh, assembled computer. And these IBM computers are branded computer. It means this is original computer that's why they are very expensive but their features are it is uh, very reliable it is very durable and it can give the more or better quality than all the computers here examples of ibm computers are compact computer sp computer acer computers these all are the examples of IBM computer. The full form of IBM is International Business Machine. Like that also the full form of IBM PC is 
international business machine personal computer as you know very well that ibm computers are manufactured by ibm company and that ibm company is established by hormon hollerith in 1924 so ibm company is established by hormon hollerith in 1924 and started manufacturing other um, uh, computers such as mainframe computer mini computer and micro computer in 1945 onwards this is a picture of ibm computer so i hope you know that what is called ibm computer here so simply you can say that the computers which are manufactured by ibm company is called as ibm computer and uh, these computers are very reliable durable and have better quality and examples are compact hp acer are the examples of ibm computer <laughs> Okay, now you have Apple computer. What is called Apple computer? Then what you you will say? You can say here that all the computers that are manufactured by Apple company is called as Apple computer. IBM computers are developed by IBM company like that. Apple com computers are manufactured or developed by Apple company. That's why its name is what Apple computer. So how do you define it in a simple way? You can say the computers that are manufactured by Apple company is called as Apple computer. You can uh, give definition by this way also. a personal computers manufactured by the apple companies are called apple computer they are specially used in desktop designing they are expensive than ibm and ibm compatible computer also the operating system and the other peripherals are completely different than ibm and ibm compatible computers they have on hardware and software the software and hardware of apple computer cannot be used in ibm computer like that the software and hardware of ibm computer cannot be used in uh, apple computer so hardware and software they have on hardware and software like uh, for example software developed for apple computer can't run on ibm computer and vice versa similarly floppy disk formatting in ibm computers cannot be recognized by apple macintosh computer and vice versa because they will use their own hardware and software they cannot be use uh, hardware to so apple to ibm ibm to uh, apple they are used in desktop publishing houses as they provide better quality of graphic output i hope you know that what is called apple computer and which company has manufactured it this is the picture of apple computer <laughs> well on the basis of purpose we can classify it into two types they are special purpose computer and general purpose computer so how do you classify it on the basis of purpose on the basis of purpose we can classify into two types they are called as special purpose computer and general purpose computer <laughs> now what is called special purpose computer i hope you know very well that what kind of work it can do the computer which is designed to perform the specific task is called as special purpose computer this uh, computer can do only particular problem so simply you can say a computer that is designed to perform a specific task 
and most of their job is to solve one particular problem is called special purpose computer these computers are designed to handle to a specific problems or a specific task so what do you know here this type of computer can perform only the particular uh, used to uh, solve the particular problem it is used to perform the specific task that type of computer is called as special purpose computers examples of special uh, purpose computers are like a uh, atm machine aircraft satellite hybrid computer supercomputer analog computers these all are the example of special purpose computer because these special purpose computers can perform only particular uh, uh, particular or um, particular a problem it is used to solve the particular problem or you can say that these computers are used to perform the specific task that's why this type of computer is called as special purpose computers this type of computer cannot do the general type of task these are the pictures of special purpose computers so i hope you know the definition or you can say that what is a special purpose computer you can say that a computer which is designed to perform the specific task is called as special purpose computers now what is called general purpose computer you can say that a computer which is used to perform the general type of task is called as general purpose computer simply you can say a general purpose computer is one that given the appropriate application and required time should be able to perform the most common computing tasks examples of general purpose computers are a uh, personal computers desktops notebooks smartphones tablets these are the example of a uh, general purpose computer these computers are used to perform the general type of task here you can do play the game you can edit the word document also you can browse the internet you can share uh, media uh, media sharing files also you can listen the music so many things you can do here so you can say that a computer which is used to perform the general type of task is called as general purpose computer now example of general purpose computers are you can say that a p1 p2 p3 p4 smartphone this apple also apple computer also laptop also these all are the example of general purpose computers so the computers then can that can be used for performing the daily life task that might be include the emailing browsing media sharing entertainment uh, playing light games uh, editing uh, some word documents other documents is called general purpose computer which you feel easy you can write down the definition either this one either this one it is used to perform the general type of task what are the examples of a general purpose computer you can say smartphones also laptop also desktop also notebook also tablets also all are the examples of general purpose computer Okay, dear students, if you like this video, you can share, you can uh, subscribe, and write comments. Thank you for watching this video. 
stay safe and healthy. Take care. Bye-bye. And see you soon. Bye-bye.